This is my 1969 International Fleet Star 2000. It's got a 671 Detroit in it, and currently it's not charging the batteries, so I want to address that. The other thing is, before I even care about charging the batteries, is these tires have got to go. There are, I think this one's date code is 79, and the other one's an 80, and uh, rubber does deteriorate, I guess. Didn't know either. You're probably wondering what I'm holding this belt for. <sighs> High-tech measuring device. I'll show you. Can you put your peepers on that? I'm about to come get you, aren't I? He's <sighs> just like a toddler. Here's the alternator. Got all its wiring to it. Here's the air compressor. It turns the alternator. So, I've put my belt on here. <laughs> Get it? My belt? I mean, it's a belt. <coughs> no, I'm sorry. So we just do this. And then we do that. And then we measure. <laughs> and I measured 37 inches. Just, I'm really good at measuring with my eyes. Don't judge me. I'd say the belt delete there is the reason it's not charging the battery. What do you think of them racing slicks? Yeah, they've got to go. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but check them out. Obviously the back two tires, obviously the front. Then the back two, then another front. All the space and rings and stuff. So as we bleep these off here, all of them, I think we want to sandblast the hubs. I wanted to show you that I'm charging her up. Using the old trusty... Uh, Christine. I'm pretty sure Christine is the name of Diesel Creek's motor rear that she just got done in that galleon. You should go check that out a series. <laughs> he's did a he's did a great job on it. Alright, so let's fire it up. Where are you looking? Do you not want to see it? Here. It's over here. Here. I'll shut the hood and stuff. Do you want me to shut the hood? I'm only going to let you get a couple seconds in if you don't answer right away. I'm, I'm not shutting the hood. Alright. Open it is. You guys said it. I know it's not in gear. I've already did the whole jiggle thing. That was not me doing it again. Morning. I bet you don't even need that to start it. Let's see. Let it build up the old air pressures and then we'll turn that key back on. I guess there's really no reason to even run the key. It's really just to charge it and run the lights. As I already explained to you, we ain't doing no charging right now. As we got it fired up, we might as well move it. Because as I told you, I want to get these tires and wheels off of it. And those tires and wheels over there need to get sandblasted. I'll probably do that, maybe. <laughs> just rattle can it. And then same thing with the back wheels. I'd like to get the straps fixed here, but that's not even on the list. Uh, there's way more important things to do on episode two. So episode two, we're going to try to get a charging whirler going. It's going to charge. And uh, get the tires and wheels at least off of it so we can put the other ones on it. Because 
These are not safe. And if I'm saying they're not safe, they're not safe. I, 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 I want to get... Tires are an expensive investment. Okay, they're not an investment. Tires are an expensive purchase, okay? And I want to get every dollar out of them. Like, every last one of them. Let's see if it's ready. Nah, I, yeah. It's almost there. I'll shut the hood now. You're gonna have to do it eventually. I don't know if you guys know shorts. They're leopards. I don't like leopard nothing. These bad boys were a dollar, and you don't get comfort like this in anything. It's probably ready to go now. Are you going to come with me, or am I going to have to stop and do all the stuff and make you come anyways? Because you don't want to. You just want to stay home. Oh, we got the air pressures. 90s of them. We can turn the key on for no reason because it's definitely not charging. Got the amp meter saying nothing. Feel good, don't work. Nope, just look at them. That'll tell you how much you got. Yeah, a stick, you're real fancy. And we can measure it and really do some Google and math and stuff. Get on the old Facebooks. Mega pop, I tell you. Checking the meters. I was way off when I pulled the mobile on. Picture, I'll drop it. There's the horn tooth still. Sometimes mud knobbers mess fixing those. This thing's been sitting for a whole almost a week. <laughs> I don't know if late last night shooting fireworks. My wife was just yet at 3 a.m., so of course she was. There's not a wasp in here, anything. Damn fucking wasp, get away from me! Oh, damn it! Okay! On that note, let's go behind them! Maybe I should adjust the clutch brake. Come on, man. There she goes. Shit. I'm still hooked to the battery charger. All right. Well, at least I caught it on video so everybody else can see that they're not the only ones that do it. I set the brakes and get out. You weren't going to come with me, were you? You're lucky the battery charger did that. I'm, un I'm unhooking it. It may unhook itself. <laughs> it did. It's the Unhooky Hooker 2000. The un I don't know if I should say that. That sounds wrong now. Here, now we can go.
Sweet. I do. side and wheels for the dump truck got my two steers right there and then the rest of the back three there one there getting ready to i'm gonna wash them down real quick and i know this is stuff is four tires i've had really good luck with this stuff that's pretty cheap too and we are on the second scrub of one side Time to flip them over, scrub the other side, and then scrub out. Well, I'm gonna scrub out the interior of the rim right now, and then flip them over and scrub the other side twice. Then you guys will get another video of what it looks like.
All right, so I think they're ready to go to the shop now. It's back tire. Front tire on me on. I didn't get crazy because again, it's a 50 year old truck. Not sure which size are going in and out. So once I put them on, I'm gonna go through with lacquer thinner and wipe down all the paint off the tires. And that's good enough for an old dump truck. Shot some paint on those. Nothing great, right over the dirt. So now, go to the dump truck, jack the dump truck up, unbolt the front wheels and tires, and bolt these bad boys on. Okay, it's got the front new tires and wheels on her. Painted the hubs and all the wheels. She's got both of them on her now. So, it's kind of hard to see that side. But now, time to spin her around and put all four back ones on it. <laughs> 